Let's go see Big Bomb. As an exclusively pumping mom, the question I always get is how I was able to provide milk for my baby even though he never really learned how to latch and how I was able to build my freezer stash. Now, one of the most common misconceptions is that it is impossible for you to be able to maintain or even increase your milk supply if your baby is not latching. If you have low milk supply, lactation consultants would always tell you, unlatch, unlatch, unlatch. And for moms who have babies who doesn't really know how to latch properly, that is quite a problem and it can be frustrating and for some moms it's even depressing. Now this happened to me after a month after I gave birth. I went back and forth trying to teach my baby how to latch properly because I thought that it was the only way to do it because that's what people were telling me. And it was just frustrating because I didn't know what to do but luckily my husband and my close friends were there to support me. There were so many words of encouragement I got that kept me pushing. I did some research because I thought that there must be some way that I could just pump my milk and give it to my baby through a bottle and just do it all day every day. And I did find out about exclusive pumping but at that time I did not know that I needed to pump every two hours or at least keep a consistent schedule. After a few more weeks I decided to do more research and that's when I learned about the schedule and how pumping every two hours or two to three hours during the early days of postpartum really helps to increase your milk supply. But at five months postpartum, my milk supply had already suffered. At five months postpartum, my milk supply had already suffered. And I went from pumping three to four ounces to only 10 ml per session. 10 ml is equivalent to 0.3 ounces. And that's a really huge dip in my supply. I tried to do everything to increase my milk supply again. Researching about EP and, and how to do it correctly helped me in increasing and getting back my supply. I was able to do it successfully and I was even able to increase my milk supply up to six times. I'm not exaggerating, but six, it's six times from my lowest output, which was around seven ounces per day. So my highest output ever was at around 40, 42, 43 ounces per day. So how did I really do it? The first thing I did was that I maintained a strict schedule of pumping every two hours around the clock. Yes, even at midnight. And it's really a sacrifice because that would mean you will only get two hours of sleep every time. Also, make sure that you pump till you empty so that your body will get the signal that you really need that much milk and your body will start to produce more for the next pump session. It also helps to pump 5 to 10 more minutes after you empty because this creates more demand and it tricks your body into thinking that what you just produced is not yet enough for your baby. At 4 months postpartum, I started going back to work but I still maintained a strict schedule. At first, it was really difficult but after, I, after a week, I got the hang of it and I started to spend less time pumping at work. What I did is to take advantage of all the downtimes and just pump. Like for example, on my way to work, especially if there's heavy traffic, I would pump in a car and on the way back, going home, I would pump again in the car. So that saved me time as well. At 5 months postpartum, I was more confident with my supply because it was already more than what my baby needs. So I started dropping the middle of the night pump and I started getting a lot more sleep. So let me just say that it really helps for you to maintain a strict schedule at first during the early months of postpartum because after a while you will benefit from it and you can drop more pump sessions as you go on. Compared to if you didn't really maintain a schedule and you're just an, an offer, you would have a hard time dropping pump sessions because dropping pump sessions if you're just an offer would mean that you would start producing less than what your baby needs. I gradually spaced out my pumps from two, to two hours per day to three hours per day and to four hours to five hours. I am now 14 months postpartum and I'm only pumping every 5 hours per day so that's around 4 to 5 pumps. I make it a point to still do 2 power pump sessions, one in the morning and one at night just to be able for me to keep my supply. Of course, if your baby has no problems latching, you would still need to nurse consistently every 2 to 3 hours. After that, when your baby starts taking in solids, you would need to pump in exchange for the times that your baby is eating solids instead of nursing. Some people say that your milk supply will really drop around after six months or after a year, but that is not entirely true and that will only, that will only happen if 
you are not pumping in exchange for those times that your baby is not nursing. The second thing I did was to increase my water intake even more. When I first started pumping, I have observed that if I didn't drink in between pump sessions, I get a lot less milk. And if I drank a liter spaced out after my pumping session and before the next session, I would get a lot more milk. So what I did was I drank 500 ml of water after pumping and 500 ml of water before pumping again. In between pump sessions, if I get thirsty, that's a separate amount of water again. So that's really a lot and it really helped me to increase my milk supply. Also, when you're breastfeeding, you also feel thirsty every now and then. So that really helps you to quench your thirst. The third tip is to just relax and chill. Now, I have observed that every time I am stressed or very tired, my milk would be a lot less. And every time that I'm just chill, I'm just watching while pumping, my milk my milk flow would be really really fast and I would get a lot more milk. The next tip is to eat healthy. Sure, you can still have that pizza or burger every time you want, but make sure that you still add nutritious food every day. It also helps to eat foods that are known to increase your milk supply like malunggay, oatmeal, chia. For me, I also discovered that every time I eat salmon, my milk supply would go up. And every time I would eat ramen noodles, my next pumping session would be really a lot. A quick Google search will also give you a list of what other foods you can eat just to help you increase your milk supply. So every morning during my first pump, I eat a cup of oatmeal with, um, with some almonds, chia, flax seeds, almond milk, and basically anything that I can throw into the cup so, that I, just, so I can just keep it new every time. So do those four things consistently and your milk supply will increase in no time. In my own experience, my milk supply increased from 7 ounces per day up to around 25 to 28 ounces per day in just 6 weeks. If after doing all those 4 things, your milk supply is still not enough for you, probably because you're still in an offer or you would like to build your own freezer stash, it could be time for you to turn to supplements. So the first supplement I tried was um, Mega Malungay. Actually, Nata lack, but I changed it to Mega Malungay because this is a lot cheaper. Uh, so I, I was taking Mega Malungay two capsules three times a day. So I would take one in the morning, one around 2 p.m. and another one before going to bed. 11 p.m. because technically I was not going to bed for the entire night because I was pumping. The next supplement I tried is fenugreek. This really helped me to increase my supply and I took this three capsules three times a day so that's around nine capsules but the recommended dosage is for you to start taking it two capsules three times a day so only three capsules and if the increase is not yet enough for you you can gradually increase it and the maximum dosage that, that is only recommended is four capsules three times a day so that's only a maximum of 12 capsules I also bought Mother Nurture 7-in-1 Choco Mix and I would drink this during my first pump in the morning and every other pump session throughout the day. So if I was pumping 8 times a day, I was also drinking this 4 times a day. So I felt that this helped me, I felt that this helped me increase my milk supply as much as it also did increase my milk flow it made my milk flow even faster so that i could finish pumping even faster after finishing two bottles of fenugreek i noticed that my milk supply wasn't increasing anymore it was actually enough for my baby it was more than enough for my baby but i wanted to build i wanted to build a huge freezer stash so i started taking a different supplement and i started taking liquid gold by legendary milk after taking this, I noticed that my milk became thicker and creamier and I also noticed that my baby started getting full faster. So it also gave me confidence that my milk was really nourishing my baby. By the time I was taking liquid gold, my milk supply was already around 30 to 32 ounces per day and that was around 6 to 8 ounces in the fridge. So. I wasn't pumping at night anymore and I started getting clogs so I also bought sunflower le sunflower lecithin also from legendary milk and it helped clear up my clogs in just 
in just a few hours. I also took uh, Palm Princess. So after Liquid Gold was finished, I took Palm Princess and this increased my milk even more. So instead of getting an additional of 5 ounces per day, I started getting an, an increase of around 7 or 8 ounces per day. So this really helped me. And actually, after I finished that bottle, it wasn't available. So I bought a different product instead. I tried Cash Cow and it produced around the same as what i was producing when i was taking in liquid gold so palm princess was actually better and then after that um pumping princess palm princess was still not available liquid gold was not available cash cow was not available so i bought milkapalooza instead and this time i bought a huge bottle because i didn't want to run out of supplements again so by the way, I was taking this legendary products uh, two capsules three times a day. That is their recommended dosage. With Milkapalooza, I was producing around eight ounces per day, extra, an extra eight ounces per day. So it was around the same as Palm Princess. So I didn't change it and I ended up buying a, a, a new bottle. But after I finished the bottle, I figured that my freezer stash is already huge and I don't need supplements anymore. I originally stopped taking in supplements at around 8 months postpartum but at around 9 months postpartum, I was under a lot of stress and my milk supply was suffering and it went from around 40 ounces to around 30 ounces and I was losing 10 ounces per day. Technically, that was still a lot more than what my baby needs because my baby never really drank more than around 28 ounces per day. So that is still 2 ounces of extra milk if my baby is really hungry. But I didn't like the idea that my milk supply was going down. So I started taking Upspring Milk Flow and I didn't go back to the legendary products because these, these are a lot cheaper than legendary milk. I bought 2 bottles of Milk Flow and these come in 100 capsules per bottle so i had 200 and you only take two capsules of this every day so this is a lot cheaper than legendary so the two bottles so i consumed the two bottles in three months whereas with legendary milk i was consuming the huge bottle in just a month because they come in 180 capsules and you need to take six capsules per day By the time I ran out of supplements again, I decided not to take any supplements anymore because for one, I still have a freezer stash and my baby was about to turn one year old and I don't think I need a lot of, and I don't really think that I need a lot more milk because he was, he was starting to take more, even more solids and he was really starting to take in less milk. So I figured that I don't really need to pump consistently anymore. I don't need to take supplements anymore. I just need to I just need to produce enough for what my baby needs. So today I am 14 months postpartum and I have started to consume my freezer stash. I, I only pump four times a day and I don't really take supplements anymore. The highest output that I ever got was around six to eight months postpartum when I was taking in Pump Princess and Milkapalooza. So I really recommend these supplements if you really, really want to increase your milk supply. So that is basically how I was able to increase my milk supply six times from my lowest point. I hope that this video helps you in your breastfeeding journey. I'll see you again soon. Bye!